Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss about a trigger scenario and uh, this trigger scenario I will be implementing along with its test class. So the requirement is when account billing address is updated, then we need to populate the account billing address on all related contacts mailing address. So this is the requirement and I will be implementing this requirement using two ways. First, I will demo you how you can implement the solution of this problem with the help of map. And then I will be removing map and will show you how you can solve it with the help of parent child SOQL. So I will be implementing trigger and its trigger handler class. And then we'll see like how we can implement the test class. So jumping onto developer console. So I'm going to open account trigger. So for my previous demonstration, I already implemented account trigger and its trigger handler as well. So I'm going to open account trigger. So here account trigger is available and you can see various methods are already called here because these I already demoed in uh, previous videos. So here I'm going to call one method. So we are talking about update. So on update of account, we need to update related contacts. So here in this update part and in is after part, I will be calling a method. So I'm just going to copy paste this statement. And naming it as update contacts mailing address. So this is my method name. So now I'm going to open the trigger handler. And inside this trigger handler, you can see various methods are already implemented. So at the end, I'm going to define this method. So public static void and then method name. And it will be receiving two parameters. So from here, you can see we are passing trigger.new and trigger.old map. So trigger.new basically stores the new state of the records and trigger.old map stores the old state of the record. Old state means old values of that updated record. So here they will be stored in two different parameters. So I'm just copying them from previous method. I'm, I'm going to paste it here. So this way, this block is implemented. I am just saving this code. So once it is saved, you can easily save your trigger as well. So in trigger, I just implemented this statement. And also like if you are just implementing this example, so remember to include after update here, right? And if you are following all the videos, so I think you also have uh, all these codes already implemented. So you just need to add this method call here and then you just need to define it here. Okay, so now here I'm going to create some code. So if, if I take you above, so here what I did, I just created a map. Right, so that map I'm going to use here. So I'm just copying this code and I'm going to paste it here. So first I'm going to demo you like how we can solve this problem with the help of map. So I created a map of ID comma account. So ID will be the key and account will be storing the values. So values are of type account and the key are of type ID, right? And the name of map is ACC to account map, right? Now, what I need to do, I just need to implement a loop so that I can iterate on ACC list. So for account ACC colon ACC list and inside this loop, I'm going to check each account billing fields, whether they are like updated or not. So if I take you to the account object and if I try to search for billing address, so you will find this 
complete field altogether. But addresses are basically divided into some sub fields. So if I take you to account and open any of the account record, and if we go to details, so here if I edit it, so under address, you can see we have billing street, billing city, state, zip code, and country. So these five fields are available and uh, you can update any, any one. Whenever you update any of these fields, so your trigger should work. So we just need to apply this condition here. So we need to compare old value of particular field with new value. So new values are available under ACC because we are iterating through ACC in the, in the loop. So ACC dot billing city, right? So it will give you the new value then not equals to and here i need to write old map dot get acc dot id and dot billing city right so this this part is basically for comparing new value of billing city and old value of billing city that is available uh, for particular record and that record is available uh, in this ACC variable. So now this way we need to check it for other fields as well. So I'm just applying that. So I'm using our condition here and I'm going to use a bracket here and a bracket here. So everything will be inside this curly base, inside this round bracket, right? So now what I need to do, I just need to copy it and I'm pasting it, then again or sign, pasting it, then again or sign, pasting it, or and then paste, right? So five times it is available. Now, instead of billing city, dot billing country. So here also, I just need to paste billing country. The next is billing postal code and remember I just used or like if anyone is changing so this trigger will work so billing state and then last one is billing street right so any one of these uh, conditions are true so this condition will be true. After this bracket, I'm just putting end and I'm going to check old map not equals to null, right? So uh, we just want it to run on update only. So on update, your old map will be having some values. It won't be null, right? So this way it is compared. Now inside this if condition, I just need to write the code. So I'm going to use this map so inside this map, I just need to put the value. So map dot put, then acc dot id will become the key and acc will become the value. So there are some errors. So let's see them. Variable does not exist. Old map. Okay. So here variable name is old acc map. So I'm just replacing it to old map, right? So now this first part is completed, like we iterated on this ACC list, compared whether a particular field is updated or not. If it is updated, then that particular record is uh, like storing into this map so that we can use it later on. Now, after this implementation, I just need to implement one more for loop and I'm going to query context. So here I am going to write SQL select ID comma account ID from contact where account ID in. Now I'm going to use that map. So map name dot key set. So key set is a method which returns all the keys. Those are available inside map. So basis on that keys, wh whose uh, account ID, like 
uh, on contact we have a lookup that is account id so if context account id lookup is uh, having some value and it is matching with this key so it means uh, that uh, contact will be queried right so now inside this for loop i am going to check if that map contains key and we need to pass con dot account id so right now we just queried one contact so if that contact uh, dot account id is available in this map right so it means that contact that we are querying its uh, account its parent account is available in the map it means that accounts billing address is updated right so what we need to do we, we just need to copy uh, those billing information into mailing information right so here what i am going to do i am going to write con dot mailing city equals to then map dot get con dot account id and dot billing city so this way you just need to copy so this is straightforward con dot mailing city so it is uh, belonging to this variable and through map we are getting this we are just passing this key con dot account id if this key is available so get function will be returning the value associated and from that value we are just picking the billing city part now i am just going to copy and paste it five times and i just need to replace these so billing city now billing country then postal code then state and last one is street so this way i just modified this code so now accounts billing information will copy to context mailing information right now what we can do we just need to create a list of contact and uh, in this con list we just need to add this contact right so this way our for loop is implemented and now after completion of this for loop you can just apply if condition and you can just check this con list for empty so if it is not empty then what you can do just update your con list so whatever records are available under this con list, so they will be updated uh, with the help of this code. So this way, I used map and you can see uh, through a single loop, we are able to modify the mailing information of contact. So we are just querying the contacts which are associated with particular account and that account ID is available in this maps key set. Right. So this way, I demoed you like how we can implement the solution with the help of map. So now I'm just saving this code and will demo you from the UI. So I'm going to just check whether this is having a related contact. Yes, this account is having a related contact. So I'm moving to details. And uh, from here, I'm going to update this. So billing city instead of Jaipur, let's say I am entering Mumbai. Other things are same. So I'm just saving it. And if I go to related list and open this contact and new tab. So I just need to check the mailing information on this record. So if I scroll down, so you can see mailing address is updated and it is having um, city as Mumbai and other things are also available, right? So this way a uh, code is working fine. Now I'm going to modify this code with the help of parent to child SOQL so that you can understand a different way as well. 
So to implement parent to child SOPL, I am just commenting this map. And also remember like when I will be implementing the test class, so test class will be same for both the functionalities. Because in test class, we just need to create the records and we just need to update the record so that this trigger will fire. So uh, there, way, there may be different ways to implement the code, but uh, test class will be same in most of the cases. So now I'm just creating a set of ID, naming it as ACC IDs, new set of ID, right? Now, after this, same iteration will be required and same conditions. Instead of map here, I just need to use set. So I'm just adding like ACC IDs dot add and here I'm writing ACC dot ID. So instead of putting values into map, I'm just adding IDs into the set, right? Now we just need to apply parent to child SOQL. So I'm just commenting this code. And here I'm going to write new code. So I'm applying for account. So if, if we apply parent to child SQL, so we will be applying the query on account and uh, through account, all the related contexts we will be querying. So select ID, then we need to query all the fields. So billing country, billing city, billing postal code, billing state and billing street then comma and we need to write inner query so select id from context now after this from account where id in and then the set which we created so all the account records will be queried whose ID is available in this set along with the related context, right? So now we can apply if condition. So if ACC dot context not equals to null. So what does it mean? It means like if you are querying any account and if it is not having any related context, so it will be like this context is a child relationship name. So if there is no contact associated with any account, so it will be null. So if acc.context is not null, it means there are some contacts and we just need to modify them. So we can apply one more loop. So loop will be iterating on acc.context and one by one contact will be available into con variable. So what we need to do, we just need to write con dot mailing city equals to acc dot billing city. So like this con dot mailing country equals to acc dot billing country, then con dot mailing postal code equals to acc dot billing postal code con dot mailing state equals to acc dot billing state con dot mailing street equals to acc dot billing street so this way we copied all the information. Now we just need to add this contact into con list, right? And rest of the part will be same. So here this for loop is closing here. This if condition is closing and then here outer for loop is closing. So if you want to apply parent to child SQL, so the drawback is you need to implement nested loops. So always use of map will be the best because here through single loop, you are able to implement the solution. 
So here you can see different logic is implemented and rest of the code will remain same, right? So now I'm going to show you how you can implement its test class. So I'm going to open account trigger handler test and uh, I'm going to implement the test method. So lots of methods are already implemented here. So we can take help from here as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this method and I'm going to paste it. And uh, we need to test related contact mailing address, right? So here we need to create sample data. So account list and contact list, both are declared here. Then through this loop, I'm trying to create accounts, right? So here I just need to fill all the information. So billing city, so let's say test city, then acc dot billing country equals to test country, acc dot billing postal code equals to some random postal code acc dot state equals to test state acc dot billing equals to billing street equals to test street so this way account five account records will be cre created along with this information then we just inserted them after insertion uh, here you can see one more loop is available which is creating related contact and uh, we are just creating contact and assigning uh, account id into account id lookup so that the newly created contact will be linked with particular account. So each account will be having one contact associated. So contacts are inserted. Now here we are iterating on account list. So here, instead of phone, I am just going to modify billing city. So earlier you can see billing city is test city. Now here I'm going to write it as Mumbai, right? So initially, all the records will be having test city, but for all the records, I just updated billing city. So it means all the account records related contact should be updated and will be having uh, updated information, right? So what I need to do, I just need to query mailing city from contact and I'm just fetching the first contact that uh, we created through this con list here. Right. If first contacts mailing city is equals to Mumbai, it means code is working fine. So here, instead of home phone, we just need to compare mailing city. So I'm just saving this code. So test class is saved, right? Now I'm going to run this test class. So I'm just clicking on run test. And after this, I just need to move this test tab so that I can see whether it is failing or passing. So all tests are passed. And if I go here and check the code coverage, so it is 100%, all the trigger statements are covered. And if I go here, so 79% code is covered. And we just need to focus on the method we just implemented. And you can see all the lines are covered. Why it is 79% because some of the code is not working. Maybe I just uh, commented the statement. So here you can see two statements are commented like these two methods are not calling. So that is why uh, code coverage is less, but the method which we implemented right now, it is covered completely. So this way, I hope you understood like how uh, we can implement a scenario uh, through map as well as through parent to child SOQL. So I would prefer as part of best practice, always try to use maps so that you can reduce loop complexity.
right? And I hope you understood how we can just implement the test class. So in this video, I just demoed you like how you can copy previous test methods and you can modify it as per your requirement. Thank you.